Hello, I'm Katie. I'm the educator here at Medella and I'm also a midwife and lactation consultant. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how the breasts actually work and how they make milk. So what we find is that actually the hormones of pregnancy start to reduce and allow the hormones of breastfeeding to increase your milk supply only when your baby is born and the placenta as well. And then the breast can start to develop much greater milk volumes. And actually what we see is that most, nearly all women are initiating and building their milk supply in the first two weeks and possibly up to four weeks as well. So your baby is designed to feed very, very frequently to rapidly increase your milk supply in that first and second week and then to keep building it until we get to the amount that babies need. Um, also, what's really important is to have a look at what goes on inside the breast itself. Now, I want you to have a look at my beautiful diagrams here, but please go to our website and you can see them a lot clearer. So, I'm just going to go inside the breast for a second, and I want you to imagine the inside of the breast is like a bunch of grapes. Each one of the grapes has many milk cells inside. And the branches of the grapes are actually the ductal system, and this is where the milk flows down to the nipple for baby to be able to drink. Around each one of these grapes is a web of muscle cells. And the muscle cells are there to squeeze the milk cell and push the milk down towards the nipple. And this is what is known as a letdown or a milk ejection reflex. And you will probably notice this because you might see the milk leaking or you might even feel some tingling. And every mum's different, so you may see no leaking and you might not feel any tingling. But you'll know when your baby is drinking and the milk is flowing, and that's when you're having a letdown. Now, the hormone that is responsible for you to have a milk ejection is known as oxytocin. Oxytocin is also known as the love hormone. So when you look at your baby, when you fall in love, when you touch your baby and when your baby feeds on you, it releases this wonderful hormone from the brain that circulates around the breast in the blood cells and it activates those muscle cells around the milk cells, makes them contract and squeeze and pushes your milk down. And that's how we have a milk ejection. So for more tips and for more information about breastfeeding over the next few months and weeks, please check out our Medella blog and I'll see you then.